Cushion 18, June 2006, paper 2. Angles in circles question. We are told that AB, sorry, AD is a diameter of the circle. So we know that AD is a diameter of the circle. Okay, that's some important information here. We'll see how these things will play out. AB, AD is a diameter of the circle, all right? So AD is a diameter of the circle. Angle BAC is 22, it's marked there already. Angle ADC is 60, which is also marked. AB and ED are parallel lines. AB and ED are parallel lines. Again, that's very important for angles. So we're going to find the values of W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, so here we have. Okay, so here we have it. So we're going to find the angles um, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, um, let's have a look. Let's start with W, all right? Angle W. Now they told us that AD is a diameter of the circle. And we should know one of the facts, one of the angle properties, is that when you have a diameter of the circle, um, any angle which is subtended by the diameter, which is standing on the diameter, okay, which whose arms go back to the diameter, okay, will be a um, 90 degree angle. So we can see here that the angle DCA stands on AD. DCA stands on AD, right, which is the diameter. So the angle DCA must be a right angle. Okay, it must be a right angle. So therefore, as that's 90 degrees, W and 60 must add up to 90 degrees. So W must be 30 degrees. So W is 30 degrees, as we know that these two angles must add up to the same as 90 because you've got 90 plus 90 gives you 180. Okay, so we have the answer to W. Okay, now with angles and circles, there's normally more than one way of finding the answer. So it's always, you know, just one way. You might find you might have thought of something else, and there's absolutely no problem with it. Okay, there's lots of ways normally of answering such questions in angles and circles, so you don't have to worry um, about whether your way is different than mine. Okay, sometimes it's just what's, what comes to your mind or comes to your eyes, all right, fastest. Okay, so now then you've got to find the x. We know that w is 30. Now we're going to find what x is. Now x is pretty easy once we found w because. We can, if we look at where x goes back, we always do this. You can see x is made up of the circumference of the circle e. If you follow where x goes back to, it goes back to b, and the other arm of the angle x goes back to c. So you can say x is standing on the arc a b b c. Sorry, standing on b c. And there's another angle which also stands on b c. You follow it. This is the angle. 22, okay, which is angle 22, okay, so BC, X stands on BC, just like 22, so X is actually 22 degrees, we didn't actually need to know W to find X, to be honest, because um, they're not related, so I could have written down X before, but there's no problem, anyway, then it says find Y, okay, so Y, same reasoning, you can see that Y goes back to C and D, Look at that. The arms of Y goes back to C, and goes back to D. C, D. And what else stands on C, D? Well, we can see it's the angle W, 30 degrees. So that means W, X, uh, sorry, uh, Y is the same as W, which is 30 degrees. Okay, so we found X, we found Y, and we found W. And we've got to find Z. Now, where is Z? Z is over here. This is Z here. Okay, now. What you got to realize here, okay, is you don't know if this is the center of the circle. Some people would think it's the center, okay, and that's oh, that's the center, and I know x and y is, and therefore you can't assume it's the center. You don't know. You know that AD is a diameter. You don't know that ED is a diameter. If if ED and AD were both diameters, then that would be the center, right? So you can't assume it. Is. Okay, so you can't say oh that's an isosceles triangle, and x plus y is 52, therefore that must be 52. All right, you can't say that from this reasoning here. All right. However, however, what you can say for sure is that this line is parallel to that. These two lines are parallel. Therefore, the the alternate angles here, this angle and this angle must be the same. That's one way of doing it. You see, E D A, which is angle Z, and D A B must be the same because they are alternate angles. So I can say that Z 
must be the same as 22 plus 30, which is 52. Okay? So now we know, now we can say, ah, that means this is isosceles. Then we can say, you know, from, from that reason that that, that that must be where the two diameters are meeting. Okay, that, that will be the center. This is isosceles. Blah, blah, blah. You can't assume it. I've, I, I proved it from here. Although it won't make any difference in the question if you wrote down 52 in your answer. Okay, they won't be able to tell that you just took these two instead of those two. Okay, but just for your, you know, mathematics, a deeper understanding of mathematics, you should be able to, you know, you shouldn't assume anything. You should be able to prove what you have. So I know Z for sure is W plus 22, 30 plus 22, because you have a pair of parallel lines here, okay? And the alternate angles are equal to each other, parallel lines and angles. Okay, now once we've shown that this is the same as these two, then we can say this is isosceles, then we can say that's the center of the circle, but we don't actually have to go that deep in this question. So there are answers, 30 for W, 22 for X, 30 to 4 for y and 52 for z.